Somewhere there's an entire town made of gingerbread. A good 2,000 gingerbread houses and over 600 kilos of dough have gone into this Christmas fantasy, Europe's biggest gingerbread town. The residents of Bergen, Norway love this over 30-year-old tradition. Every year, Veronika Storebø and her four daughters can hardly wait to get started. The special thing about the gingerbread city is that it brings the community together. It's amazing. It's, uh, it's a fairy tale uh, to come here for the kids. They uh, have a lot of fun. Uh, like you can see, there's a lot of lights and houses, and it smells amazing. Just as tantalizing as the gingerbread town is the old town of Bergen on Norway's southwest coast. Every year, Veronika Storebø turns her kitchen into a Christmas bakery. She and her daughters knead through several kilos of gingerbread dough. They carefully cut out each individual component for the houses. Even the smallest of the family join in. Of course, they're allowed to nab the occasional pinch of dough. The cookies have to be thoroughly baked until crispy so they'll hold up. It takes several sheets full to deliver enough materials to build the houses. They glue the pieces together with melted sugar. Then finally, it's time for decoration. I like baking gingerbread houses because they're really tasty. Pitching in to help bake the town is a tradition that has now been passed on to the next generation. Veronika Storebø built gingerbread houses with her mother and grandmother as a little girl and integrated them in the town. The bakers can cook up whatever their hearts desire. There's no fixed concept, but many residents pick a landmark from the Bergen area. This year, our inspiration is uh, the boat house right across here. Yeah, over here. So we wanted to do something from our place. Uh, so we have done four boat houses and a boat, which we are naming Efe, which is my grandfather's boat. The finished edible masterpieces are put on display in the art museum in central Bergen. Anyone can contribute from professional bakeries to daycare centers, schools and families. Steinar Christofferson founded the gingerbread town in 1991. The income from tickets goes to children's welfare organizations. Oh, it's such a good feeling uh, every year seeing all the children and adults coming here to, to see the um, Papa Kogibi and it's uh, fantastic. I hope that the Gingerbread City will be a tradition uh, long after I'm gone. <laughs> He's got very good reason to hope. Many of the town's people are already planning for the future. For me, Gingerbread Town is part of my childhood because we have delivered houses uh, several times during my childhood. And now I'm doing it with my kids as well. So uh, hopefully they'll do it with their, their children. The Gingerbread Town remains on display until December 31st. Then it is demolished. After the gingerbread houses have stood unprotected in the exhibition hall for a month, they're no longer edible. Even so, Bergen's kids at heart, big and small, will be looking forward to building a new one again next year.